every month we do our build videos and, and this month I, I just I've been in a good mood I wanted to build something that's just really good you know I, there's a lot of cool parts out right now and for just a little over a thousand dollars you can build something with all high quality parts so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna focus on each component and the general idea with this video is that if you're not building this exact system you're building something similar you're building something a little worse a little better or a little higher price a little lower priced you can look at this and use it as a reference because everything I mentioned in this video is going to be a very high quality part. So let's go ahead and get started with the CPU. Uh, and by the way, this one's going to be used for um, not just gaming. This is a system that can be used for gaming, for editing, for productivity. Uh, it's just a general purpose monster of a system for just a little over a thousand. I think this one came to, well, it's a little over 1200, I should say. So for a little over 1200, you're going to get an epic system. Uh, starting off, I'm still using the Intel i5-2500K. You know what? I've also got one of the uh, 3570Ks. If you're not going to be overclocking and you're going to be doing a lot of rendering and video editing, I highly recommend one of these. But if you are going to overclock and you're going to be playing some games as well, there's no sense in spending an extra 20 bucks. I mean, if they're the same price, maybe, but the 2500K is a really awesome part, and I'm going to use it in this machine. And I'm also going to take a uh, Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo and throw that on there. Uh, it's only like 27, 28 bucks, and that's going to allow us to overclock just a little bit. Um, I mean, it's not way better than the included heatsink, but you know, it's it's good enough that we can overclock. I'm going to grab the ASRock Z77 Extreme 4 motherboard. It's loaded, and uh, here's the deal with this. There's a lot of Z77 motherboards that I like. There's a lot that possibly I like better than this one, but I cannot find one in this price range that gives me more for the money. It's also very highly rated. It's just a lot for the money, okay? For $134.99, you're getting like $170 worth of motherboard. So that's what you get with the ASRock. For the memory, I'm going to grab uh, G-Skill Ripjaws X-Series, 16 gigabytes of that. This is DDR3 running at 2100 megahertz. Uh, it's just really high quality memory. Also check that cast latency, make sure that's nice and low. So whenever you're looking, that's that's what you want to look for. Read some reviews online. This one's highly rated, so um, I'm going to go for that one. In this system, I'm going to grab two hard drives. I'm going to grab one for storage and one for speed. Of course, for speed, I'm going to go with the Kingston HyperX 3K. Uh, you can get the 120 gigabyte drive for just around 80 bucks right now. That's ridiculous. For storage, I'm going to get a Seagate Barracuda Green. It runs at 5,900 RPM, so not quite as slow as a 5,400 RPM, not as fast as a 7,200 RPM, but it's cheaper, uses less power, and I'm going to use it for like storing you know, media and pictures. If you're just streaming movies, you're not going to need anything faster than that. If you want to you know, have faster game load times, grab a 7,200 RPM drive or a bigger SSD and forget the, the, uh, the regular hard drive. For the video card, Grabbing the Sapphire Radeon HD7970. It's a monster with 3 gigabytes of GDDR5, and it pretty much just beats everything out there. It overclocks. I mean, it gets hot, but you can overclock it. Uh, one of the things I like about this particular model is that it has two fans and some copper heat pipes, so it does run a little bit cooler than the reference. I like that a lot. As far as high-end graphics cards goes, you get more per dollar with that card than you do with just about anything. So if you can afford it, really good way to go. Uh, if not... GTX 670 is a great way to go. Uh, even the Radeon 7870 for a couple hundred bucks is amazing. 7950 is good too. For the case, I'm grabbing the NZXT Tempest 410 uh, Elite. I'm going to grab the black one just because that's what I like, but you can grab whatever you like. Uh, I like their Tempest line. Very clean. Uh, no silly shapes and sizes, just clean. Uh, really good airflow on these as well. And you've got USB 3 on the front. Very easy to build. Got the uh, cutout so you can install your large CPU fans and whatnot. Can't go wrong. For the power supply, I decided to grab the NZXT Hale 82N. I'm grabbing the 750 watt version. It's 80 plus bronze certified. It's not quite as good as the Hale 90 series that's out. Those are ridiculous, but the reviews on this one are really nice. Um, nice clean power, one single 12 volt rail, and also if your motherboard supports it, it will charge USB devices even if your uh, computer is suspended. For the optical drive, you can grab whatever you want. Grab a Blu-ray drive if you want to watch Blu-rays. I'm just going to grab like a $15 light on and be done with it. So that's what I've done. That's a lot of computer. And again, those are all uh, super high quality parts. I recommend those to anybody. Some options, um, if you see a good deal on Mushkin Blackline or Mushkin Redline RAM, that's a good way to go. I uh, also trust uh, Corsair, you know, Dominator RAM is, is really good. So there's a lot of different options there, but I, I did pick the G-Skill the G for this one, just because it was, um, you know, a really good price and high quality. Thank you